Hey everyone, it's Adam from Outlier, and uh, this is your week three NFL wrap up. Well, from the main weekend, we still have my football Sunday night football still going on right now. Um, but look, if you play Survivor, there's a solid chance that you're not in it anymore. Jags and Cowboys both went down. I know that those were probably popular picks. Went down pretty handily to the Texans and the uh, Cardinals. Both teams lost by double digits. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what you can look for in week four and a Monday night football prop that I love. Big picture, we're starting to get an idea of what these teams are like. Overreactions are going to settle. Uh, it's going to become more about a week-to-week -week overreaction type of thing. Uh, and the real teams start to show up after week three. Uh not including the Sunday night football game and not including Monday night football. Uh, we were eight and five to the under in today's games, including Thursday uh, and eight, eight and five faves rolled covered the spread um, to uh, the double digit spreads. Uh, favorites went two and one and um, nine teams won by double digits out of the 13 games uh, thus far, uh, you know, and double digit losses happen. And historically, when this has happened in week three, which is also known as the kitchen sink week, um, NFL analyst uh, Brandon Anderson calls it that, uh, you know, after that in week four, historically, uh, you know, the faves are uh, 26 and 19 ATS for 57 percent. So if you want to go by this trend, which I don't advise to totally lean into this trend, but it's just worth knowing um, favorites off of a double digit loss in week three going into week four, they are uh, they're 26 and 19, as I said, ATS. Jags, Titans, Broncos, Cowboys, all off double digit losses, all our faves in week four. Might want to back them. I don't know if anybody can really back the Broncos right now. Um, but look, we got two Monday Night Football games tomorrow and uh, tonight. Um, primetime unders are still a thing. They are 131, 86, and three for a 60% clip. Uh, you can still keep keep hitting them it uh looks like this raiders steelers game might go under uh, i don't know but um by the time you watch this it may have gone over but look they're they're hitting at a good clip uh but i got a good prop that i like on monday night football and it's not just because my eagles are playing um it's actually somebody on the tampa bay bucks i got Cade otten for you he's their starting tight end he plays a majority of their snaps he plays something like 98 percent of their snaps uh, so first of all, Eagles rank 31st in DVOA against tight ends. DVOA is a metric that's used to help determine uh, how defenses and offenses perform based on what the their strength of their opponents are and the strength of the situation. So look, this Eagles team just got shredded by TJ Hawkinson in Monday Night Football in a game that they won. Uh, but Cade is um, third in target share, uh, and third in yard share, he's, but he's played the most snaps and he's run the most routes. So I'm proposing, and I used Outlier to research what these numbers could be because as we mentioned in the last video, when Shane came on, it's all about opportunity. It's all about looking for alt lines. Um, Cade's baseline is 25 and a half receiving yards. Fantastic. Uh, you want to play that. But then for him to get 50 yards plus 320, that's three three to one. And then for him to get 75 yards or more, it's plus 940. Um, so, look, he's gotten more than 50 yards. He did it three times last year. He's off a game where he had 41. Eagles aren't good against the tight end. I think he could do it. So um, sprinkle on those other rungs of the ladder. And for those of you who are first hearing this term, a ladder is a term that's used on a prop when you escalate it to uh, different degrees for a little bit more plus money. So we have one right here for Kate Otten. Um, that wraps it up for uh, our post Sunday video that you're probably watching on Monday. Uh, I hope you have a good Monday. We'll be back on Wednesday with some notes about injuries and initial line movements. Uh, hope to see you in this future video.